my name's Lori. This is Unbox Night, Unbox Life with Lori, my nightly YouTube vlog. And tonight's vlog is about Ozempic, my week five. And it's how to and everything you need to know about Ozempic. Um, first, let me say thank you to all who've been watching my videos. My channel is new and I was so excited because my, my last vlog got over 200 views and people commented so I was so excited about that. So if you're watching this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to follow me on my journey, please please subscribe. I'm, I'm new to YouTube, but I'm trying to learn as I go. So hopefully my videos will get a little bit better every time. Um, I like to start each nightly vlog with a quote. And tonight's quote is by the late, the great Mr. Randy Posh. And it's about brick walls. It says, the brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly that we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. They're there to stop all the other people. I think that's a great quote. So what is Ozempic? Ozempic is a prescription injection used to treat type 2 diabetes and it, and it, and it contains semaglutide. So what is semaglutide? Semaglutide is a peptide similar to hormone glucon. It's a glucon-like peptide a mod and it's modified with a side chain. It can be administered by an injection or taken orally. And what it does is it helps lower blood sugar by helping the pancreas make more insulin. So this is just about my experience on how I was able to get a prescription for Ozempic. So um, if y'all are hearing noises in the background, I raised my grandson and his name is Theo and he is autistic. He's nonverbal autistic and he's, he makes a lot of strange noises. So if you're hearing noises in the background, it, it's just my precious Theo. So. Anyway, how I got my prescription for Ozempic. Um, basically, I took prescription diet pills from about the time I was 25 years until I was about 50. I took them on and off to keep my weight. You know, I'd, I'd gain weight and lose weight, but I'd always keep my weight pretty steady. But at 50 years old, I started having issues with high blood pressure. So my doctor, she would no longer prescribe um, prescription diet pills. Um, the, the prescription diet pills are called Adipex or Phenermine, and what they are is really and truly it's just speed, so it will increase your blood pressure. So my blood pressure was high, so she would no longer prescribe them. So for the last five years, I've just been gaining weight to where I am now. My, my weight has basically gotten out of control. So um, when Ozempic came out and I went to the doctor for my yearly check checkup, I asked her about it. I asked her, I said, could you write me a prescription for Ozempic? So she said, first, let's go ahead and check your blood sugar and check and check and, and check all your numbers. And um, if you're pre-diabetic, I'll go ahead and write the prescription for you. And I said, great. I said, well, if I can get Ozempic, well, do I come back, you know, and, and I get it, do I come back here? Or are you going to show me how to use it? And she said, no, if you're pre-diabetic, I'll write you a prescription. Then you can go home and watch a YouTube video. And that's how you can. Um, learn how to take it. <laughs> so I, I was a bit confused, um, but I was like, okay. So we did my blood work, and and of course I was pre-diabetic. Like like I said, I've gained so much weight. I'm heavier than I've been in a long time, and my mother's diabetic. So um, um, yeah, I did, I did have the disposition for diabetes. So I went to the pharmacy and picked it up, and I do have insurance. So with insurance, my copay that I pay every month for Ozempic. I pay $25 a month, so so that, that's not too bad. And um, then I brought it home, and for all of y'all who have not seen Ozempic, this is what it looks like. This is the box it comes in. And I take 0.25, um, that's my dose, um, and that's really the highest dose that I've done. 0.25 is a starter dose. It's just to see how your body will react back to the medication, but that's the highest dose I've ever done, done because I've always had really bad side effects. So anyway, so the box the box looks like this, and then when, when you when you get home and you open it up, it's it, it comes with two things. It comes with a pen. The pen looks like this. 
And see, it's got the, the counter for the medication. And it comes with it comes with needles. I apologize again, that's Theo in the background. He's playing right outside my door. Um, so it comes with needles. You get six needles. And they come in the, this is the needle right here. So what you do is you remove the lid and you can see, you can see the medication. See, so you can see the medication right there. And then you put the needle on and you screw it on there. And you, and you want to keep the safety cap on for now because the next, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get a wipey and you're going to clean the area with an alcohol wipe. Even if you've just done, gotten out of the shower, go ahead. It's just a good... A good precaution to take is to clean the area with the alcohol wipey. So there's four different places you can take your shot, either in your abdomen or your upper thighs. So, um, so you choose your injection site and clean it off, and then you you turn you turn the end of the pin until you reach your dose, and it'll say 0.25, which that's my dose 0.25. And then you want to remove this lid. And then there's another little safety lid that you take off. And I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but see that the needle is very, very, very small. So don't don't be afraid of it. I, I was concerned. I worried that maybe it would hurt, but the needle is so very thin, you can't feel it. It does, it does not hurt. So don't, don't worry about the injection. And then you, you go to the injection site, and as you're giving yourself the injection, you push this button right here. There's a button on here. And you hold it down and you count to 10. And then you release your thumb and you take it off. And then you wanna, the, the two caps that you took off, you wanna replace them on the needle. The first, the little one, and then the second one, because you're gonna wanna remove this needle like that, because you're gonna wanna throw the needle away. You don't use, you only use the needles once. So see, you two, and, the, and then you replace the lid like that and then you put it back in the box and then um, you put the, the needles back in the box and I don't know if I showed you but on on here you write the date the date you did your shot that gives you the places to write and so you put that and you close the box back up and you put it you put it back in the refrigerator and so that's what you do. Um...